Imagine publishing a book that's 44 to 64 pages long, takes about 90 minutes to read, and there is a voracious audience just wanting to buy your book. Ah, this is not out of the realm of possibilities. In fact, we're going to talk a little bit more about Amazon short reads, more specifically the 10 best 90 minutes short reads niches in 2020. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale L. Roberts, best-selling author, as well as a self-publishing advocate who wants to show you how to publish books that sell. And if you want that too, not only should you subscribe to this channel, but you should go over, check me out on twitch.tv slash self-publish, where I actually do long-form live videos. We do deeper dives into the business of writing and self-publishing. So what exactly are Amazon Kindle short reads anyways? Well, it's six different types of books, and they're kind of like bite-sized pieces. Some of them can be as long as a novella to as short as a, the shortest short story you can possibly put out. And this includes six different types that have different page links to them. It includes 15 minute short reads, 30 minute short reads, 45 minute short reads, one hour short reads, Today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the 90 minute short reads, and then last but not least, it's the two hours or more short reads. But how do you get to publish your books in Amazon's Kindle short reads categories? Well, they call it an invite only program. So let's talk about the way you're supposed to be getting in, which is by getting your BISAC selection or the selection of your category inside your KDP dashboard, your seven keywords, as well as the length of your book. So the total number of pages once it's uploaded onto the KDP platform. Now, if for some reason you qualify in some capacity that you have all the right keywords, you have the proper page selection, you could go over into your KDP dashboard, scroll down to the bottom, select contact, us and then ask them to add you into the Kindle short reads. Now, chances are very likely they may tell you no. And there's some other instances they, they say, okay, I'll go ahead and put it on in there. Just make sure that if you're putting your book into these particular categories, that it makes sense, that you're not just going in and category squatting, that you're putting your book where it should be and where it should be shelved. So how do you identify winning short reads categories? Well, there is the old fashioned method in which we actually want to first of all install DS Amazon Quick View. It's a free browser extension that will show you the Amazon bestseller rank of a given book when you do a quick search. Then all you have to do is just simply go find any ebook, scroll down to the product details, select the category, and then on the left hand side, you're gonna backtrack it over to the Kindle store. And just below Kindle store, it'll have Kindle short reads. You're gonna left click on that and it'll drop down to the six selections. From each of those six selections, it's going to have additional categories. Now, it doesn't go further down. It doesn't drill down as much as the regular category. So they're a bit more broad. When I'm looking at a bestseller list and a category for me to publish in, I want to make sure there's proof of concept. I want to make sure that there's actually an audience that's there is buying. And generally speaking, I want to see the top 10 books ranked anywhere between 10,000 and 100,000 as far as the Amazon bestseller rank. Now, the reason why I don't like to see it above 100,000, that's because it's less than one sale per day. And look, folks, I got bills to pay. I'm sure you do. So we're not just going to be simply publishing these books up here just for the sake of getting into a top 10 list. We want to make sure that we're making money. Conversely speaking, if it's lower than, say, 10,000 in the Amazon bestseller rank, it's not a bad thing. It just means it's going to be super competitive. If I see that top 10 range between the 10,000 and 100,000 rank, this means that this is ripe for the picking. It's ready to go. And I am really excited more than any of the past videos I've shared about Kindle short reads because I found 10 that are just stellar. Now I pruned off a couple of other ones. So I would say do your due diligence because if there's not a category that I list here that you aren't publishing in, you can always see if it's available. Number one, 90 minute self-help short reads. 
Now, this is not the first time I've mentioned the short reads with self-help. It's actually showed up a couple of times, and it's no surprise self-help is a very popular category. At number one, you can actually see that this book is at about 10,563. So you're getting towards a pretty competitive area, but if you just kind of scroll a little further down, you're gonna notice it's pretty tight in here. In fact, number 10 has 27,400. So this is completely doable. In fact, it'll take about 11 to 15 sales per day to break into the top 10 list of this particular category. Number two, 90 minute religion and spirituality short reads. Hitting the top of this list is a book at 11,645 by a pretty big and well-known author in Max Lucado. But you go a little further down at number 10 and you will see that it's at 31,492. So there's still plenty of opportunity in here because if you sell right about 10 to 15 sales per day, then you can definitely break into here. So this means that if you want to topple a very big, well-known author, all you're gonna need to do is sell about 15 copies per day and you hit the number one at the top of this list. Number three, 90 minute education and reference short reads. Okay, so at the very top of this list is a book at about 14,110 and you go down to number 10, this one kind of makes me chuckle because it is about fire stick of all things. You would think that they could get a user manual or maybe they got one without a user manual. Either way, this is ranked at 44,000. Wow. So this just kind of goes to show that some of these how-to reference you know, type books can really do very well if you just put your mind to it. That's gonna take roughly about seven to 14 sales per day to break into the top 10. You see we're loosening up a little bit the further we're going into this list. Number four, 90 minute comic and graphic novel short reads. Okay, so if you're an artist or you're a comic book artist or a graphic novel artist, this is going to be the absolutely the best area that you can break into. Because I know that in previous weeks when I shared some of these particular categories for comic and graphic novels, it tended to be really just dominated by some brands, whereas it loosens up a little bit more that we've gone just a little thicker, because remember, this is 44 to 64 pages altogether. Number one is being held by a book at about 12,600, and you go down to number 10, it's being held by a book at 46,700. That roughly equates to about six to 14 ebook sales per day. Definitely, definitely achievable. Number five, 90 minute arts and photography short reads. You can see at the number one spot, it's being held by something I'd probably be pretty interested in, a guitar fretboard, uh, memorizing fretboard. This is kind of cool. I really like that it's being held at 16,599. You go down to number 10, it's being held by a book at 47,876. This is gonna take about roughly six to 13 sales per day to break into that top 10. You will notice quite a bit of music-based books are in this area here. Number six, 90 minute humor and entertainment short reads. Normally this specific niche, when it's not in Kindle short reads, is absolutely super competitive, but you can see that there's a lot more room that you can kind of come in here. It's a little less competitive because number one is being held by a book at 16,300, and then number 10 is being held by a book at uh, probably at the top of my range, and my comfort range at 101,000. So there is a lot of untapped potential here. Is there a voracious audience? Remains to be seen. Who knows, maybe if you got one or two books in here, chances are pretty likely you'll knock off the number eight, nine, and 10 spot fairly easy. In fact, it's gonna take roughly about one sale to about 13 sales per day. In fact, in order to get a 100,000 rank, that's about less than a sale per day. So if you got one sale every other day, you'd be able to get the number 10 spot easily. Number seven, 90 minute cookbook food and wine short reads. Hitting the top of the charts at number one is a book at 23,100. And if you just scroll on down through some of these tasty little recipe books, you'll see number 10 has 61,500. Okay, unlike the uh, previous category I just mentioned, there's much more proof of concept. We know that there's an audience there. So 
If we do right about four to 12 sales per day, we'll be able to break into the top 10 list here. Number eight, 90 minute politics and social sciences short reads. Hitting the top of the list here is a book at 31,500. And if you just kind of scroll a little further down, you will see a pretty interesting one here, the CIA lockpicking manual, and it's being held at 76,500. I think this might be miscategorized. I don't think that that's where it's supposed to be going, but I don't know, what do you think? That's gonna take right about three to 10 sales per day to break into the top 10 list. Number nine, 90 minute computers and technology short reads. There it is again. If you go over to the number three spot, you'll see that book for the fire stick again. In fact, you go through some of this, you, you kind of, it blows your mind because some of these things you would think that they would come with manuals when you purchase them, but it's clear that people really need this. And so they're going for it because at number one is a manual on Amazon Kindle Fire and it's at 37,900, and you go down to number 10, there's a book about Windows 10 at 57,821. That's gonna take roughly about four to eight sales per day. This niche right here is ripe for the picking. So if you are able to put together something about computers and technology, you will easily slip right on in here into the Kindle short reads. Hey, if you're finding yourself kind of getting hung up on exactly how to break into some of these categories and doing the proper research and writing the, the content, well, Future Me is gonna show you exactly how to do it with Fiverr. Take it away, Dale. Now that you have all these Kindle Short Reads categories, what the heck are you supposed to do with them? Well, Fiverr's gonna help you out. These exclusive sponsors of the channel have hooked us up with actually the ebook and bookstore. We're gonna head over to dalelinks.com slash Fiverr. And you're probably saying to yourself, but Dale, I don't have time to write. Well, good news, you can actually go over into either writing the book for fiction or nonfiction. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and choose nonfiction. And so let's go ahead and we can scroll through each one of these things or we can even use anything from how much we have for a budget. So let's say I've only got $50 to $100 and we go ahead and hit apply and it'll show us all the gigs that we can get in there for. We can drop down inside the seller details and look for merely only top rated sellers if we wanted to or if we wanted to work with new sellers or specific languages. Now that we got the content all done, let's see about getting it edited. So let's go into content editing. We can look at the various seller options and seller details, work with our budgets, everything that we need to, delivery time. So if we need it done really fast, we can hit express 24 hour. That'd be a good editor. And then we can go even dive deeper by getting a proofreader or a beta reader. But what if we wanted to get it formatted? The nice thing is we can go into book layout designs. We can go into cover designs. Again, to get all started up here with all these services and more, you can visit dalelinks.com slash Fiverr. Again, that's dalelinks.com slash Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. And number 10. 90 minute sports and outdoors short reads. Holding the very top of the chart here at number one is a book at 35,300 and scrolling on down to number 10, you will see a book at about 102,251. Again, we're getting towards the top of my comfort range. Sadly, some of these books are actually placed in the health, fitness and dieting, but I discovered in the 90 minute short reads niche for that, it's absolutely super competitive at this moment. So some of these don't even make to the top 10, um, but they managed to get here in sports and outdoors short reads. Uh, again, I, I'm not a big fan of seeing a rank around 100,000, but I feel like it's worth pursuing because that's going to take roughly about a sale per day to as much as nine sales per day altogether. This is super achievable. I know that you've got it in you to be able to sell that many ebook sales per day, especially if you've got the right marketing and promotion put behind it. Let's just say though, for instance, you're like, Dale, I don't know that I can write 44 to 64 pages. I got probably less in me. Well, good news. I've actually got this entire series queued up for you based on Kindle short reads. You can take a look at other categories worth pursuing. That's gonna be right down here in the very next video. I'll see you down there. What are you waiting for? Click on that next video.